Yo, what's up everybody? This is Henry here, and thank you for tuning in. Now guys, um, it's been a while since I've done a reaction video. Um, this just tells you a lot about what's going on when it comes to the dating market. And basically, America's fucked, alright? The West is doomed, in general. But, as you guys see here, um, these guys right here, I watched them a lot. I watched their, um, this whole podcast last night. That's why I have a right to react to it, because I watched it. I know it's, a lot of people going to be clipping off from this and, you know, making it seem like he's the bad guy and he's just mean to women. Knowing that they didn't watch the whole context of the podcast with the women being disrespectful and rude. And you'll see it, guys. I'm going to play about 20-ish minutes of this and I'm going to react to it. And um, But, guys, if... This somehow gets restricted off from YouTube due to YouTube not believing free speech. Make sure you check out my description below and go follow me on my Rumble account. Rumble is, is where it's at, guys. That's free speech, man. Rumble is 100% free speech. YouTube isn't. E even X, Twitter, you know, wherever you want to call it, is more free speech than YouTube is. And Instagram is, well, I mean, Instagram is bad, guys. But anyway, I digress. Um... Also, I will have Fresh and Fit's um, YouTube channel in the description below, and also their Rumble channel. So make sure you guys check them out, guys. Especially if you're a man and you're struggling with life and everything, they are a men's improvement podcast. They talk about money, women, obviously. This is just the after hours, guys. This is where all the entertainment is, and you can also learn about modern day women by watching this podcast. A hundred percent. They do now. They're doing uh, doing dating stuff, uh, uh, blind dating, and uh, it's just so much that uh, uh, oh, fitness, obviously. And yeah, guys, just check just check them out. It's not that hard. I know a lot of you guys uh, have seen a lot of the clips on either TikTok or X, etc. And you know, obviously, those people that's making the clips have a agenda, and their agenda is to make them look bad. Obviously, fresh and fit isn't. Um, perfect, especially him, Fresh, you know, he's messing with uh, 304s, and apparently she uh, boarded it, and I don't know, it, uh, guys, it's just a long story when it comes to his issue, but again, I digress, so we're going to go ahead and react to this, and <laughs> yeah, guys, if you have any kids, uh, <laughs> viewer discretion is advice, big time. So, I would shoo them away for about half an hour. So, we're going to get into this, and here we go. Oh, God. What to do with you? Bitch, would... that's why you're single right what? now. <laughs> All right? Oh. You're a model, but you... What, what? I'm it's single with my choice. choice. I can go grab my choice, phone man. right now, and I can have a man What's in this building right now. So, don't play with for me. For sex. For sex, bro. For sex, bro. For sex, For sex. 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 Guys, guys, you guys, you realize he's actually trying to help you. Yeah, like, like this it's, is crazy. It's, it's the cra that's the craziest think, thing is he's he's the only guy that is going to be honest. No, Ninety five percent of men think, will lie to you. If he's I wanted being help, honest. I'd pay for a therapist. And, 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 <laughs> no, 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 he's gonna lie to you. Like, hold on. I have a therapist. Uh, the therapist's gonna lie to you. Yeah. Yeah. Paid up for nothing. He's telling you what it is because saying it. It's kind of coming across as like asshole ish. But to be honest with you, he's helping you because. Guess you guys what? are fucking hard-headed. Yeah. I've been listening to you guys go back and forth and rationalizing your poor life decisions, and then you think a good man's going to be waiting at the end of the line. He's not. Yeah. He's not. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got you. Think about this. Rising Gemini. Think about this. Think about this, right? Oh, man. All the men are your Gemini. Gemini. I'm a rising Gemini. My moon is in Taurus, and I'm sorry that I'm... All right, guys. I'm going to stop here for a, a brief moment. This is the shit that we be talking about, you know... <laughs> You know, a lot of guys will coddle to this woman and simp for her and let her control the relationship. And this just confirms the delusion of a lot of these women, you know. I don't hate women at all, you know, same for them. I just, wow, I, I just can't believe how delusional most Americans are. It's not just women, it's men too. And that's why this country's falling, guys. It's falling. So anyway, we're going to get back into this. And I'm hard headed. Man, you're wise as fuck, well, man. Relax. <laughs> yeah. Yo, nigga, who put that on your arm? What show are you on right now? Hey, yeah. Back, back to it. I'm a happy Gemini. Nigga, what's 
Is she good for me? Are, are you drunk or something? No, I'm, yeah. Talking, yeah. I'm talking about like Shut my Leo, IG. Leo rising and uh, moon sign. You're not a rising. <laughs> you're a downing syndrome. Shut up. Just, please. Downing syndrome. I, 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 I want you to understand like how silly that would be. Yeah, if I, yeah. Listen, if I if I applied your logic, right? You're saying that a guy's gonna, I'm going to find a guy. He's going to forget about everything. And then I'm going to be a good woman. Imagine before I started, before I started making money, before I started building myself up. I'm 18. I don't have a job. I'm in my mom's basement. I'm eating Cheetos. I have no money at all. And I'm like, well, when I get married, then I'll do all that. Chill, man. That's how silly that sounds. Like, I have nothing going for me. I'm fat. I'm playing video games all day. I'm sucking Cheeto man, stains off my fingers. Man. And I'm, do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> no, she ain't listening. Bro, no, okay. you I'm get listening. It? I, I'm no, I can hear people. I heard it. Do you get it? The, get you it. know what that guy is? Like, that anime guy, the fat anime dude sitting down with no money in his mom's basement, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine he believes that once I get married, then I'm gonna get in shape, then I'm gonna get a bunch of money, and then I'll I'll fix my whole life around. Do you think that guy's ever gonna fix that delusion? Pause for a second. Okay. Now, when it comes to anime, yes, I think a reason why most men are like that is because of anime to an extent. Because there's a lot of animes, uh, like you got the harems and stuff like that. Basically, he's a fat guy, and he oh uh, no, isekais. It's a fat guy. He he dies and. He get isekai into a, another warhold, you know, that's anime for you. And he gets a harem of, you know, waifus. And um, men in real life think that they can get that if they don't, if they're not, you know, doing anything with their lives. They they think that they're going to get a bad, you know, a, a, a bad bitch. But in reality, that's not the case. So, yeah, back to the video. Illusion? No. No. That's the Good same example. thing that you're believing right now. No one should come and save you. Well, I just believe. <laughs> I'm going to get what I want regardless. So but that's it's, why. it's not going to happen. No, no, no. It's going to happen. Hold on, stick up. Stick up. She's going to get it. Let's see years ago. I'm going to get it. I'm going to mm -hmm. get it. You're getting it, Because right? you know why? I'm you smart. No, you're not. Intelligent. You're really not. No, the stick up. She's getting it. don't matter to me. You know why I'm going to get it? Stick up. She's getting it, bro. Because I understand where you're coming from. I believe her. And if somebody is going to accept me. No, you're going to believe me. I'm going to see it eventually in the future. I'm very confident. I Syndrome, look, bitch. Look, First look. of all, who called me Down Syndrome, bitch? Oh, yeah. oh. You just caught on? Oh, what the hell? Oh, you're like, gonna hate on oh, autistic no, no, no. people? Bro, that was like four minutes ago. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <You're laughing. laughs> First of all, they're, they have the most. I mean, because they're the most intelligent people. You autistic could, people. Yeah, you are. Okay. High functioning <laughs> yeah. autistic people all right. are all anyway, fucking intelligent. Look, yeah, you okay, are. that's fine. A, yeah. Look, look, hold on. I just have a question for her. Do you have high standards in men? You? Oh, I have. High standards. So, Laugh wouldn't it be fair to say... Laugh your ass off, you fucking asshole. Okay, wouldn't it be go fair ahead, to say... Yo, can, can, can you be quiet ahead. when I'm talking, please? Okay, now I'm going to be quiet for you because I respect you. Okay? Yeah, all right, just please be quiet all for right, a thanks, second. Thanks, thanks, all right, so... You obviously don't respect him. She was doing this all night, guys. She's one of the, the, the women that got kicked off later on. But, again, if you want to watch the full video, it would be in the description below. <laughs> if you got the time to watch to watch it... Um, yeah, you should check it out. It was very entertaining, and it it, it opened your eyes. You, right, you said you have high standards in men, right? Like, very. Okay, so if you have high standards in men, don't you realize that that guy's going to have high standards in return? Yeah, but guess what? In their eyes, they don't see me. They don't look down on me. I know, because I know what I'm in. No, I know. No, I'm just drunk, Bruh. drunk, I'm just drunk, telling drunk. you what I know. Bruh. It's You can't, you're not in my life. You don't know You don't my know life. shit. You're <laughs> a know. random girl. Like, yo, that's what I'm trying to explain. Like, women live life on such easy mode that you guys don't know anything. You know, you, know, you know where your hubris and your cockiness comes from is from your social media. Guys, no, you're not cocky. Yes, you no, 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 no. I've earned no, the right to be cocky by the shit. Anyway, no, 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 hey, hey, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. Be my quiet. Be quiet. Come from my father. No, be quiet for two seconds. Be quiet, be quiet for two my seconds. Come from God. Yo, look, no. that's fantastic. Great. Number one for you. I'm fucking cocky because I earned the right to be You're fucking cocky. Okay? Number two. You didn't shine in life no, and one. then tell me and then, why. And then number two. And then number <laughs> two. Because men have to. Men have the right to. Well, somebody said something. What'd you say? Y'all. Y'all got something to say over here? Let's see what he got to say. Somebody was saying something over here. Oh, I'm just like I earned it. I'm just. I'm good with you. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't say shit. I don't know why you looking over here. No, no, no. I mean, the one y'all said something. Say what you said. Go ahead. Please. Say what y'all said. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Oh, you're quiet now. Oh, wow. Wow. Somebody made a comment over here. If you want me to talk shit, I want to ask you. Okay. Somebody made you, a comment here. Okay, I'm going to make another comment. 
you see yourself as a high value man, correct? No. Okay, so why are you talking like, about what, what men want? <laughs> high value men. Being sarcastic. You know Being sarcastic. <laughs> Being so sarcastic. what's, what's so high value you about you? What can I'm you, not gonna tell myself that. I'm not gonna. What you, can you pitch if you to see everyone that, see watching that, see me that way? That but that's fine. That you're high value. Bitch, you're on my podcast. Are you fucking stupid? I'm here like, yo, like, yo, I was, this baby, is crazy. Baby, 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 let's this check. This is crazy. Did I ask to be here or was I invited here? This wow. narcissist is so crazy. This wild, right? This is wild, right? This is crazy. This is crazy. Wild, right? this is crazy. This is crazy. crazy, bro, right? Wait, Freaking. please don't kick him out. I have a good follow-up question. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Really but this is what I'm trying to say. Like, this girl's 19 years old, doesn't know anything about life, and he's trying to sit here and like, well, I'm on the same Nothing level as you. Life. You're not. Nothing and then about going back you. to you. Nothing you're, about this podcast. Excuse me? Just be quiet when I'm speaking. Just just be quiet. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Mm. For you, uh, right? You're, you're young and dumb. Yeah, Say yeah. That's called entitlement, guys. And she again, she's a kid. She's 19. She's like this because of what she sees on the internet. And more likely, she didn't grow up with a father. She grew up with a single mother that probably told her to, you know, man ain't shits, be independent, boss babe, etc. It, it's a generational issue, guys. In culture as well and you know sad to say a lot of black women are like this and it's it's going to get more spicy than it's going to get way more spicy than this a lot of black women are like this because of what i just stated no fathers in the household and uh you know the black mama be like then told them fuck man man ain't shit or that you know the n-word ain't shit and uh go chase a bag and all this other coping on uh this cope shit that's all it is, is cope. That's why she's very disrespectful to, you know, to Myron. And that's how it is with black women in general. Not all black women are like that, but the ghetto ones are, and they are the ones with the voice. And that's why most men prefer not to date black women, statistically speaking. I am black, and I don't, I don't... I see, I, I do see black women attractive, but I would never date one again. No, hell no. I, I'd rather date a damn Asian than a black woman. Even though there's nothing wrong with Asians, but I, I don't prefer Asians at all. But um, the race that I prefer is whites and Hispanic. That's it. Like, if you like a Candace Owens type of black woman, yeah, 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 I'll wife you up. But if not, if you're ghetto... 304? No, hell no. You're going to be back on the streets. Anyway, back to the video. Oh, yeah, what have you, like, what, like, what have you accomplished young and at this age to yeah, speak to him like that? What have I accomplished? At well, this, no, I, what, you're doing a YouTube oh. video? Oh, I'm, I'm getting my bachelor's degree. Like, oh. maybe I'm not as old as you, but Ooh, my bachelor's. Bad. Like, it's, it's, it's like, making a salary, I, I, making money, it's, living it's, life. It's, I, mean, I, don't don't think, well. I don't think, you, <laughs> I don't think you realize how bad you come across. It, okay. It's like it's like appalling. Okay. I I, I am I cannot even believe the attitude you guys give him. And that's You're, perfectly fine. That's your opinion. It's not my opinion. Wait, down syndrome. Can you wait a second? I have a great Pearl. follow-up question. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Pearl, what did you accomplish? Uh, bathroom. Bathroom? What did okay. you accomplish? Yeah, like you have a YouTube. Whoop whoop. Pearl, right. what did you accomplish? I'm not talking to him like that. I'm not, I'm because not, you're I'm not being disrespectful to him. Because oh, you're the you special <laughs> guest. I wouldn't expect exactly you to have a problem accomplish? with the other host. I would like to know, what did you accomplish? She has one of the most successful YouTube channels, like break. Yeah, opening but up what does she do? She jerking Igor's man every day online. No, she, she's woken up. Yeah, she is a bitch. Can she you is a the fuck up and let him talk. <laughs> this is the first time she's talked like this whole. No, 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 but it doesn't matter. Let her speak, bro. Let, let her speak, bro. Go ahead. Bro, she's mad. She is. All time. You are pick me girl for years and years, Pick-me-girl. and you're still not oh, married. Shit. Why? Mm. Let oh. us ask why. Where's the ring? Show us the fingers. Yeah, please. Okay. Go ahead. You want to talk about girls getting married, but you with all of us. Picking up statistics, like shitting on women. Every day. Welcome to the what single club. What did you accomplish? She watches Pearl. Single club. <laughs> she's not shitting on women. She's trying to tell you accurately where you fall in line. Exactly. And you but yeah. and yeah. she yeah. wants to yeah. tell us what right. we, what is right and wrong. Yet she doesn't have the ring to prove it. So who is she to really <laughs> talk about? Who is she to talk about? So, uh, so do, do you want to answer the question? I mean, just to be, f- just to be fair, it's going to yeah. take time to find your actual dream man. I wish you would say oh, the same thing. Hold, okay, hold, okay, hold, okay, right? hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Oh, I wish you would say the same thing. Stop, 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 stop. 
but she's not arguing that fact. But go mm. ahead, bro. No, I can give you an honest answer. I, I didn't prioritize it when I should have. I'm taken now. Mm. Hopefully it goes that way. That's Interesting. it. Interesting. Show us the man. Show us the man. I should be able to get Martin a stone no, no, no. finger. No, no, no. Or let's can I just me. say to you guys and, and, that you are and, making and, everything so exponentially worse for yourselves <laughs> when you carry yourselves like this because I came on here. I know Pearl. I disagree with everything that she says. I don't agree with a lot of things said on this podcast, but you know what I'm not going to do is talk over people, Ooh. make a scene, and argue. Because Ooh. how is somebody supposed to take me seriously Ooh. when I'm sitting here getting crazy over it? <laughs> it's so entertainment, baby. You know, I think yeah, it's and this is why I like my snow bunnies. But, it's a big but, a lot of white women are feminists. Back to the video. Do you think, so you think Cardi B just is there like this? Uh, no. 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 She's no. Like, no. She's I'm not saying that you have to, but I think I am saying. Hold on. And then you, you, want, just, you just use the Cardi, Cardi B as an example to like yeah. emulate. Yeah. And she's yeah. wrestling all by the way. She's wrestling all by the way. Propaganda. Yo, and they wonder why athletes choose white girls. Yeah, yeah oh, that's, that's why. Question. Wait, fresh, you saw why, bro. <laughs> Fuck, bro. I, I just started to pro. I'm telling you, bro. That's my fault. This is what athletes. Yeah, because they shut down. You have a lot of white men that are picking black women and having mixed kids. Yes. You have a lot of white they men that are picking black, black women having mixed kids all over social media. Right. Right. They're, yeah. they're appreciating us, like how we need. Like he said, we're black women. We're underneath the barrel. Well, how much. Black women, can you not say that? I didn't not say successful? that. I said they're the least Black desired race. Black women are the most I said they're the least women desired race. race. We can be billionaires on look, our own. Not with any man. You missed the screw what I said. I said that the they least. Need, they need a yo, family. Yo, they need a generational yo, 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 We get it on yo, our own. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> but we're the, we're, the, we're the under barrel. Yo. But men want us for our money. <laughs> That's how. Right now, you, she is literally <laughs> proving uh, the stereotype for black women. You won't shut up. You're you're acting like a nick, a, a, you know the n word. Um, you're masculine as hell, and again, she's just proving a stereotype, and it happens time and time again in, in real life with me, and on these podcasts. And it's sad that black women are like this, and they wonder why this single mothers. <laughs> this is crazy. That's not what I said. I said, I said, they're the least desired race by men. That's a statistical we're fact. Under, we're under. We're beneath the They're the barrel, least desired the race most. by men I in general. Mean, shit, is what I said. Statistically, but they're my the, phone don't say that I'm the least desired. That's all I got to say. That is, a moronic, that is a moronic comment oh to make back. I'm telling you how the world generally works. Then you went ahead and said, well, that's not me. What, what kind of ridiculous comment is that? Like, hey, that's perfectly fine. Not everybody fits in the stereotype. A lot of black men have a criminal record. Do you? No. Right. No. And, 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 but here's the thing. Here's the thing. But here's the thing. I'm not going to get angry at you for saying that. <laughs> yeah. I'm That's the difference. I will yeah. agree with you. Sure. Hey, hold on. See, this is the difference between me yeah. and you. And this is why you're a more yeah. 19 year old than I'm an adult. I have the ability to critical think. Oh, actually, you're right. Black men commit a disproportionate amount of violent crime in the United States, despite being only 15% of the population. I will not argue with you about that. I will tell you it's fucking true. There's a bunch of. And yes, guys, that is 100% true. Black men, statistically speaking, do commit 50% of the crime. And for those who disagree, you're just a fucking moron. That's all I got to say. Problems of black community. But I say, black women are least desired race. You fucking go ahead, hyenas. That's a fact. We go and get it. We get it. We get the money. And then you went ahead and said some dumb shit about we get the money. So let's be real. What? Let's let's work it. What? We're our own men. We're our own men. That's why they hate us because yeah, we man. take care of ourselves. We're we so used you guys. to. You're just Hold annoying. on, can I speak? Can annoying. I speak Let's like speak. a normal person, like everybody else did? Okay, so for example, we all can say, "Hey, oh, we want a man to take care of us." We would say, "Oh, black women are so high maintenance." Then when we started making our own money, making top dollar, then oh, we showing off. We think we're men. We don't need men for nothing. Not that we're making hella money, but men want us for our money. You so, have. All right. I'm going to stop this for a second. Yes, women, <laughs> you do need us for everything. The people who keep society running are men. Plumbing, electricians, car uh, carpenters, uh, construction workers, sewage workers, the trash man, etc. STEM, I can keep going on and on. Your mechanic, your technician, science. I can, well, that's what STEM, but I can keep going on and on and on and on. The people who keep society going are men, not women. Women don't do any hard 
work at all. It's a very small minority of women that do. But guess what? The minority do, do, does not make the majority. And it's facts. Without men, society collapses. Without women, society collapses over time. You know, because we need women to um, reproduce. So again, without men, you know, men, we all, if we all would have disappeared, all right, the next day, society would start to collapse and eventually end up, you know, collapsing all the way within a week. Same, for, oh yeah, same for trucking and farming. Like, men grow our food and men drive our food to the grocery stores. I can keep going on and on and on and on and on, guys. It's crazy. But anyway, um, I digress. Back to the video. Different races coming you... up and be like, oh, we want a black woman because she know wait, how to get you, it. She know how to take care became, of her kids. Hold on. You became the man that you wanted, right? So, no, I'm not saying literally me, but like, we're saying that. You, you know, did. we said a figure of speech. So figure then, of speech. So then that means... Figure of speech. Why would a man want to date you if you're, if you're a man? Well, Ooh. to be honest with you, like I said, I'm bisexual. Men want me more than I want Bro. them, to be honest with oh you. Oh, my God. That's facts. Bro, this is... See, yeah, men like, tend to look for women mean, who are though. submissive. I didn't mean to say that for real, but like, what Thank I'm you, really saying is... You guys, yo, and, and all you guys... Bro. Bro. Throughout I this like podcast, all you guys have done you throughout this podcast is reaffirm stereotypes. Congratulations. Good job. I mean... And what are you? Is, you just said black women. That's wrong. No, no. That's so wrong. Refute you said that. It, refute That's it wrong. by like showing, you know. <laughs> but I don't it know doesn't matter. Okay. We're defending for ourselves. You're but wise. But you're not Speak defending for yourself. Here. You're not defending anything. You're just screaming. I didn't. I never and said women, like, black women are the bottom of the. I said they're the least desired that. race. Well, okay. Across me. the board from men. Yeah. Boom. And that's wrong. What you said. That's very wrong. Okay. Prove it. That's a fact. That's not. No, no. That's not right. But look, because a lot of black I think women you should not even care. You should not care because you know who. Like, hold on, hold on. Don't that, even. What's yo, the point? Yo, like, do you not understand that what? I, that's it a statistical matter. fact. They've done, <laughs> they've done studies on dating apps, and they found that black women have the lowest response rates on dating apps. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. And let me tell you, I'm not just fine. talking shit. Let me tell you, the day, the you know who you are. You confident? You got it's what you the, got. It's, that's it's it. the, it's it the, it the it honest matter. truth. Just like what she said. Black men commit crimes. I didn't argue that. What race are you? Don't try to change the argument. But what race are you? What does that have to do with anything? Because you're not desirable either. We don't look at you and say we want you. He's we not don't even, look at he's you and say we want with you. you. Wait, I'm just saying, wait, though, wait, don't hold hold on, that hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not wrong. That's wrong. Chris, Chris, can I, let me, let me explain it to her. I don't like that. Just stop, stop, stop. No, see, Chris, what's the audience is, 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 I'm not so used to the races. I'm from the Bahamas. Yo, 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 you're so damn loud. The audience is complaining right now. Yeah, you're really loud, really loud. Let talk, all right? Can I just explain it to her? You're so goddamn triggered that you can't even understand what I'm saying. I'm telling you a statistical fact when it comes to men and women dating, and then you go ahead and try to turn around, well, black people, black men commit crime. I said okay. black women. That's true. I, I didn't say black women. That's not true. That's women. what she said, right? To go That's ahead and her. try to help Thank you out. Her, and then me. you went ahead and made the argument, well, yeah, they don't like us because we make our own money and we're successful, blah, blah, blah. What does that have to do with the argument that I'm trying to make that black women are the least desired race? There's a multitude of reasons why they're the least desired race by men. I'm telling but that you, does not refute not. what I said is true. Okay. I'm telling you why we're not less desirable because I'm telling you we make why hella money. The same way how men, how we... We don't fucking care about your money because, again, it's your money. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my god, guys. This is giving me like I'm I'm losing brain cells re watching this, but we're gonna get back to it. We women, we be saying, hey, um, we want men for money. Some men say they want women for money too. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. How does that refute? Why don't we talk about how, how well how, black women have pioneered fashion? How does that refute? How, how does that black women have be quiet for two music. seconds? That, like, how does that refute my argument though? Like that doesn't refute anything I said because men don't care. Alright, see the white uh, Bella looking girl from Twilight, you know, the pale one. Um, she is trying to cope. Basically saying, you know, uh, black women, they are the best looking when it comes to fashion and then the, 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 the degenerate rap music that they make. Like, that's, that's a low IQ statement right there. Like, literally. Most black women that makes music, it's 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 fucking degenerate. It's rap music is crap. There's a few black R and B singers and you know opera singers, etc. Like it's bad, guys. 
care about money. We don't care about yes, pioneering do. fashion. We yes, don't give a shit do. about that. So let me let me put my yes, point down. Yes, men do now. care about money. I mean, you don't care about money. Let's take yourself. One, one second, love. Okay, so let's take money out of the equation, right? Let's take money out. All right, go ahead. Right. Incredible. Men tend to want a more submissive woman. If we talk about statistics, let's be statistic. Ten statistics. Men statistically want a more submissive woman. Okay. Now, if we're looking based off of not to be racist, but white women and black women. White women were raised most likely in a two-parent family home. They watched their mother be submissive to their father, and that's how they were raised. So they're going to tend to be more submissive. Mm-hmm. Now, let's be for real. A lot of black families, not just because of rah-rah, this and that, but let's let's get into the politics, the the like the the federal prison system and all of that shit they are trying to break apart black families whether it be financially putting men in jail or just trying to fuck them up so a lot of black women were raised without a father statistically we're we're still going with statistics so they watch their single mother be independent they watch mm-hmm. their mother and they like that. raise them That's they watch their mother what? grow up and take care of them and take care of business and handle shit so then as a black woman coming from a single mother as myself I tell myself I'm not going to be submissive to a man because I have seen how a man can let a woman mm-hmm. down. A man can promise a woman A, B, C, D, E, F, G, yeah. and he ain't gonna do it. So I'm going to sit down. I'm gonna make sure that I take care of myself. I'm not gonna exactly. submit until I know for right, well, sure. Then that's not attractive. Then right. that's not attractive. Not awesome. attractive. That's that's fine. Fine. for yourself. No, that's fine. It's not. It's and not that's attractive. Fine. Are you fucking dumb? She just admitted that men prefer more submissive yeah, women, and do. you agreed with yeah, that. They do. And then she went ahead and said, well, I'm not going to be submissive to everyone. And then I responded with, congratulations, you're going to be yeah. less attractive to a majority of men. Move on. And Wait, that is a component. Fine, but that's just and that is a component. And that saying. is a component as to why black women fare less favorably than other yeah, races yeah. because they don't want You're to be so submissive. Right. So thank Which you for proving my point yeah. for me once yeah, again. Suck, it's like, yo, like, this is crazy. Like, you guys sit here and argue, and then your points actually make my point stronger. But yeah, I don't before, 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 you know what's crazy? You're proving him right. Well, you should have said, you know mm-hmm. what? I hate what he's saying, but it is true. But guess what? I'm different. So I know what it is. He can say whatever. I said exactly you, know you just prove him right. Wait, shouting loud, cycle. out the crazy, like, loud. damn. You know I what? Never... You know what? To be honest with you, maybe because as black women, all we do is get attacked. Bruh. No one takes up first. Thank Thank you. You. No, you're just dumb. That's not all black women. Speak for you yourself. You just have you're lack dumb. of Speak critical for thinking skills. I'm 23 no. and I'm probably doing better than you. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Bitch, Speak who the yourself. fuck are you talking your to? Your mother is a bitch. Speak for yourself. Oh. Yeah, listen, you stupid oh, no, no, fucking no. retard. Yo, yeah. Don't call me a bitch. Simple as that. Look, your look, mother look. is. Don't call me a bitch. Look, well, wow. for one, yeah. for one, my mother knows that I act like a lady. I don't know your Number mother. Two. You don't know me. No, no, you I know, know you. Me. You're an idiot. You don't and, mean uh, you're uh, speaking we've, I think we've all, we've all heard you talk for a bit here. You, speak you're for your a moron. mother. You're calling me you're a bitch. You don't know me. No, no, no. You're an idiot. You're being aggressive. You're, an idiot. you're not even a body of a man, so don't talk to me about any value. You have low IQ. You're not able to critically think. You're not able to understand anything. Speak And then you're over here talking about money. What the fuck are you? Bro. Speak for yourself. What? You. You're a nail tech, How bitch. Shut you? the fuck up. I have a trade. I'm 23. Congratulations. Years Congratulations. How old are you? You're doing a podcast and you're asking me to be on your podcast. Chill out. How about this? Chill out. How about I'm this? Make your show. How about Chill you out. get your fat ass up and get the fuck up out of here? Get the you fuck out of here. How about that, bitch? That's we don't need you. Get the fuck up out of here. Ass, you need to hit the gym. That's fucking disgusting. See, again, she proves the stereotype for black women in general. Especially, well, all the hood black women are like this. I'm going to say all of them, but most of them, like a high percentage of them, 95% of all the black women that, that, that lives in the hood or came from the hood are like that. Some hide it better than others. Home yeah, girl? That doesn't Home help your girl? case. That doesn't help your case. Home girl, this so doesn't help your case at, at all. I'm telling you, don't call me a bitch. I'm telling you, get the fuck out of here, bitch. That's your what I'm telling you. Bitch. Get your the fuck mother. up out of here. All right, my mother. mother. Fantastic. Get out of here. Simple as get that. Get the fuck up out of here. Bitch. You fucking ratchet ass Caribbean host think you can come in here and run the shit the way you want. Get the fuck up out of here. Go shake your ass downstairs like the fucking hooker that you are, bitch. Get the fuck up out of here, man. Yo, you're doing nails trying to say you make money. You're fucking brokey. You probably make like 80k a year trying to talk shit to me. Get the fuck up out of here, man. Sorry, Bill. Go make some nails. Go make some fucking nails, man. Some dumb ass whores. You're talking to a fucking multimillionaire trying to tell me I'm a nail tech. I make money. Get the fuck up out of here, you brokey. Sorry, Bills. You Casper, what does she, she smell like? Home. Hey. <laughs> what does she smell like? Yo. Hey, don't, don't start a Caribbean girl. Don't, don't do it, Caribbean bitch. Don't do it. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, shit
And now we cut to commercial. <laughs> Maybe I should take this out with a video. Ah, I'm playing. I'm playing with you guys. Again, guys, if um, <laughs> this gets taken down from YouTube, check out my description below. Go follow me on Rumble and check it out there. <laughs> you can't, because YouTube is skittish when it comes to this. So anyway, we're going to watch a little bit more of this, and I'm going to give you guys my last thoughts. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, she oh, definitely over here. My autistic self can't handle this shit. My autistic self can't handle this shit. They can do it right now in the back, but it is. Yeah, you guys really have to stop doing that black, black, black woman thing. Come on, right? Yeah, I really do too much. Hold on. Okay, yeah, because, but don't do that. Y'all need to stop. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait
Uh, what happened, Stigo? I'm racist now. Damn, she kind of fucked our whole point up a little yeah. bit. I know, I mean, there you go. Just, just proving every stereotype. Yeah, Pro- proved every fucking stereotype. Yeah, one man. black woman down. Her titties were flapping like her dress came off and she was there with tape on her nipples. Just looked disgusting and sweaty and gross. Just a terrible representation on black women, like honestly. And she's speaking up for you. And look, when she's getting up there and she's shaking her ass when she's leaving after calling his mother a bitch, you start smacking her ass and encouraging it. You hmm. should not do that. If a booty move and it jiggle and it's real, I'm finna smack it at the Club man, in per- I don't care. Out, man. Hard rock. Anyway. Going, man. Please, please, please leave, please leave, leave, leave. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of you talking, man. Like Let's he, like he told you, he told you what it is, and you're mad disrespectful. You like, Chris, sorry oh, to say, man. Yo, your first time, fuck, man. Please leave, man. Are you talking to me? Yes, yeah, you. Just leave, man. Um. Y'all, 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 I guess two down? I mean, shit. Damn. Uh, what's going on here, bro? This panel. This is my shit. So, uh... I blame me. Yeah, I think uh, we can... Uh, hey, shout out to Icy for handling that. That was there. Shout out to Icy in the yeah. chat. Why are you blaming yourself? Bro? W, Icy in the chat. Yeah. No, shout out to her. I gave her the beats. She, <laughs> I just said I. <laughs> what? I just said when they prove it right, and it's like, yo, like we're trying to, you know, tell you know. She's saying she wants to have a, 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 a husband, and husband and kids. She's yeah, there like, so, kids. I beat your ass, bloody hoe, hoe. Her titties flapping in the in elevator. The, disgusting. In disgusting. In the in the room before, um, in the back room before the show started, yeah. um, I was talking to the lady that was here, like the dating coach lady. Yeah. And I told her that I think that men are smarter than women in every way. And she was saying I wasn't true, but this show just proved it, so. All right, I'm yeah, I mean. Me well, that's an inch to a mile, but I just, do, do you think, think it's like just crazy that every guy is smarter than every girl? Or no. like. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to stop it there. <laughs> I'm going to stop it there. So if you want to watch the rest of the podcast or from the beginning, you know, to the end, again, check out uh, my description below and uh, go follow my Rumble account and uh, you go follow uh, Fresh and Fit too on Rumble and on YouTube. It's not up on YouTube, but the full video isn't up on YouTube. It's like what twenty five minutes is only up on YouTube because of obvious reasons. And yeah, anyway, I'm gonna give out my last thoughts. All right, yeah, again, well, as <laughs> stated before, this proves the stereotype for most ghetto black women. That's why I don't date black women in general. But again, if you are like Candace Owens type of black woman. Yes, I will take you seriously, but if not, sex only, if even that, to be honest with you, because, yeah, STDs and stuff. Um, the young 19-year-old, she's, yeah, she's, again, she, you're still a grown adult, and she she need to be uh, held accountable, too, for her stupid remarks, and not all of them were stupid, but it's just, she's going to have cats. You know, when she hit 30, the the black woman that got kicked off, she's going to be a single mom pretty soon. You let him hit her off. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. You let him hit her off. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. You said I'm a hattest kid. Don't care if he's here or not. But now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. Now you're. And this is just going to be another rotation. It's a cultural thing and it's a generational thing. It's not going to get any better anytime soon. For the black community, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Um, well, it's going to be like a, about 30 years. If we can fix this shit, uh, throughout this next generation, uh, this next generational cycle, then it'll start to get better slowly. But if we don't, then the black community will remain, um, um, degenerates, uh, criminals, uh, 304s, uh, ghetto, poverty, etc. It's just going to be the same shit. So anyway, guys, um, let me know in the comments of what you think. If you agree, disagree with my last statement and with what was and and uh, with what was said on the podcast, 
Again, you want to check it out, just check out my description below. On your way out, make sure you smack that like button. I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, click the notification bell. And um, again, for the millionth time, check out my description and go follow all my social medias, not just Rumble. I got Instagram, uh, Twitter, or X. Um, what else? I got Odyssey. Odyssey is free speech as well. And yeah, so guys, <laughs> this is this is something else. <laughs> it's crazy. We live in a clown world, and it's not going to get any better, guys. It's it's sad. So, uh, some more advice for men: just go out and work and grind. Do what you got to do to survive in this world. Don't be focused on women, because trust me, a lot of them aren't focused on you. And be focused on yourself, and you know, use your 20s. Something that I I did not do. I wish I had a time machine to go back. Use your your early 20s, and you know, you be you should be set by 35 or 40. You know, we age different from them, and it, we we gotta work for our value, guys. It's, it doesn't come up front like women do. As soon as they turn 18, boom, they get invited to yachts, and you know, stuff like that. They get their value up front. But they are on a time clock, 18 to about 30. And then that's when something is called hitting the wall. When they hit the wall, they don't get no attention anymore. They got to settle, basically. Or they end up single with cats and dogs or a single mom, you know. But it is what it is, guys. Um, Hope you guys stay safe. Be aware of your surroundings. Um, uh, be aware of your surroundings, especially this day and age. Um, get prepared because shit's about to hit the fan. And start... Oh, wait, no, carry gun, guys, sorry. See, I'm all, ugh, God, my, see, my brains are scrambled by listening to this. Carry gun and start stacking uh, the beautiful gold and silver because our fiat dollar is declining, just like with everything else. And as always, have a nice day, guys. Take it easy.